on Sailing Catalpa. We see a waterfall break our ankle inch. Which means we are stuck here in Dilly. So it's mad panic this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's packing all her things. And she's up. Oh, you got two bags now. Yep. I uh, bought too much coffee. Oh. <laughs> Granddad's coffee. <laughs> Priorities. Oh, dear. Okay. Right. Porter, porter. Wheelie! Getting used to being back in the real world. Yes. No, I don't want to get used to that. I liked being here. Did you have a good time? Of course. Last month time. Because we're going to miss you. We're missing you, Dad. Oh, Granddad. That's, that's my bag. That's oh, all okay. good. It's a little one. I just oh, for Granddad, I will do that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Whoa. We had the best time with you, Grandma Shani, and hope you come back soon. We will miss you. I will. <laughs> I will. Coming in here, we've got to watch out for a big wreck. So we go super slow, and um, the water's clear today, so I'll be able to show you guys. Oh, right in front of us, honey. No, 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 stop. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, cello today. Oh, the fish is on it. Coral on it, she's an old wreck. Probably a crocodile lives in there. On the right, too. Oh, he went straight through the middle. Some days we come in and it's not that clear and you can't, you don't really, you can't tell where it is but we've got marks now of where it is, it's in front of those tenders so we should be able to remember that, hopefully we're not here too much longer. So this morning we said bye to Shawnee and um, she's heading back to Australia today. We've got massive issues with our anchor winch. It's actually non-existent at the moment, Lee's taking it off because it's shit. So, we don't know what's going to happen, but we had a really... We've, what, this I guy, think because I've pulled the anchor all these times, I think it's your turn, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pull it up. Well, I don't understand what your problem is, why can't we just pull it up? <laughs> so there's this awesome viewer of ours, Doug. Hi, Doug. We, um... He sent me his story or just sent me some photos. He actually grew up on a ferry boat and travelled around with his family as a kid. And um, so we've chatted a bit on Facebook and stuff, but really nice down to earth Aussie guy. And with all our anchor winch problems, um, he actually did his apprenticeship at Mer winches in in Tassie yeah in Tassie in Tassie and um this is his forte and he knew we were having anchor winch problems windless what do you call it a windless we windless. had windless problems um so he sent a message he goes oh you know I really want to help you guys out so we actually rang and uh talked to him last night so that was really cool and he's trying to help us out so 
we don't know what's going to happen. We we kind of don't want to sit here much longer. Um, we don't oh, know what the future holds. We've we've literally run out of money. So there's a really high chance we can and look for work in Australia. Um, we don't want to, obviously, but reality is that's, that's the way it's heading. What do I? We just feel a bit flat today, so what's happening on Catalpa? We have shit days. We have awesome, fun days, and we love our life. But right now, we we kind of are having trouble seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a bit dimmed. But we know that we'll just stay positive and trust the process because, I mean, that's all we can do. So surrender over to the universe and just let, let it happen. Because we know that it will work out in the end and we'll look back and go, oh, that's why we were sitting there. And <laughs> Our reactions are way less dramatic than what they used to be. <laughs> the other day we couldn't pull the anchor and it just got let back out and we went back to bed. It wouldn't be so bad if we were like... Just at some nice island, the surf break in front. Yeah, you could help us falling apart. But we're strong and our love will keep us going. Because that's all we got going. <laughs> Alright, here we have our poor old anchor winch. Which I don't know much about these things. First one I've pulled apart. But doesn't you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out that there's actually no teeth there. So I would say this guy's missed his uh, annual checkup with the dentist, and um, this is such an old model. We don't know if it's even worth looking at this, but I thought we'd have a quick look and see. Uh, as far as I know, this is actually meant to be a wet box, so containing oil. Um, for lubrication of the teeth here and the worm drive but it's just been jam-packed with grease so someone's pulled it apart I'd say all these little lip seals and that were leaking and they've thought the quick uh, fix was just to pack it with grease and uh, one of the guys that follows us Doug uh, he's an engineer and he's Dale Fitter and Turner um, and he's done his apprenticeship at Murrenka Winches um, back in the day, years ago, so he seems to remember a little bit about these little bad boys and may be able to help us here. So I'm going to pull it apart a little bit, have a chat with Doug and see what he says. There we have it. First part off the bearing. Is it a cutlass bearing? Oh, it's a CBF, you know, one of those ones. No, I don't know. Yeah, either do I, but hey. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Lee's just back on the phone with uh, with Doug, who's trying to help I us think I don't, with I the windless situation. So he's, Lee's got it all apart on the table, and he's just doing measurements and things like that on the phone. Um, Oh, and Lee's just on the phone to um, his new best mate, Doug. This is the guy that's helping us out with our, yep. our windlass, which is still on the table. So I'm just chatting with Doug at the moment. Awesome dude, he's just... On WhatsApp. WhatsApp, which is again <laughs> is awesome, because it's uh, data only, which is, works out way cheaper for international chat. Uh, we've got Doug here, I've got him on live, I've also Doug's got... Doug's in Australia. Yep, yeah. and uh, he's at Geraldton, WA, and he's an engineer, slash does a lot of stuff with big equipment, and yeah, very mechanical dude, and he's actually sorted us out with a new windlass. Long story short, we'll get to that in a minute, but what I'm working on at the moment is the Gypsy he's sourced for us. So I've sent him through a plan, a drawing of our one. So look at this. This is Lee's. It's got a bit of what wine on there. <laughs> it's got a bit of uh, water damage, but yeah. Lee drew this up. This is Lee's drawing. He's not. He doesn't do this professionally, but this is the professional one. So anyway, I'm just taking Very a few. Similar. I'm just taking a few little uh, measurements across from one to the other, 
and I think this is going to work. Um, if there is any slight modifications that need doing, this guy Doug actually happened to do his apprenticeship at Muir Anchor Winches in Tasmania. So he knows all about these things and he's just all over it. So I'm hoping within a few more days we should be looking like being able to pull the anchor. Weigh the anchor and get out of here. Woo! Yes! We're ready. Yeah. So it's all looking good. Keep you up to date here. Let's do this. Cheer, but bear with me. Uh, our good friend Doug, that's helping us with this winch process, has said that the inside of this should all be lubricated. Um, regular maintenance, which is involved with pumping grease into here. It was dry and I could barely pull out this little um, top hat section, so it was very stiff there due to no lubrication. Now I've dug out around here, I'll clean that up after, but underneath all the silicon and paint was a hole with the remains of a grease nipple that uh, hasn't been used in a long time I'd say. There's two lip seals here, one inside and one outside, which helps maintain the grease and stop the water getting in. So I'm going to try here uh, with a little tool here they call an easy out. Left hand thread, so it should actually bite and pull what remains of the old grease nipple out if all goes well. So, and then Doug's going to help us out with a SS or stainless steel uh, nipple and we might be able to lubricate this shaft for the first time in a long time I'd say. Oh, don't want to snap it. It's a problem with these easy outs, they're hardened steel so if you do actually snap them then you've got to try and drill out the hardened steel. I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. So there we go. Oh look at that. We've had a win. It's not often. But um, look at that, she's starting to come out. Oh, you ripper. There you have it. Wasn't a lot left to the thread. There's only sort of very little left, but I suppose the grease nipples aren't that long anyway. But there it is. Um, I won't need to maybe run a tap in there just to clean it out, but that's it, easy out. Can't stop the generator, so you're just going to have to bear with it. We've got uh, washing going on downstairs. But, uh, got the shaft out of the windlass here. And I've got to remove these, these here, these keyways. But they're so rusted in and they should be stainless steel. So Doug's going to replace these with stainless. But that's half the problem, I had to get them out. So. There it is, I had to actually just grind that one off as I thought I was just going to chuck this in the bin, this whole thing. But uh, still got to get that out, the keyway, and uh, get this one out too. And uh, awaiting some new keyways and clean this shaft up. I've actually had a bit of a win here. I was able to uh, get this one out. It was under a bit more, a little bit more protected. It wasn't as rusty as this fella, but. These, uh, I think they're called wood rough keys, and uh, they actually should be stainless, and they're just steel. And but I've had a wind one out, and uh, I think this one's going to be a bit more challenging. I'm going to have to just drill away and sort of play with this one. Yeah, a little hot tip of the day. I don't know why, but kids and the wife and everyone complains about steel in their in their feet, you know, but. Um, so I get rid of that, but we're doing so many little jobs on the boat, and a lot being stainless steel and so on and so forth. The great thing to have is cobalt drill bits. They last forever. I've drilled so much stainless and steel and everything with these fellas, whereas your normal Bunnings job just doesn't cut it. You get maybe one hole out of it, and yeah, they've had a lot of use. Clean up all these little bushes and give this shaft and thread and a whole lot just a little clean up. So when we get our new drive unit back it should slide in easy. Have a couple new keyways ready to go. 
this adapter plate is going to be one of the ones that I'm, I've got a feeling I have to use. I'm just cleaning up the face here. Um, I'll give it all a tidy up. I was pretty sad looking. I just removed the lip seals, which again were really sad looking. I'll keep them just in case, but the other one should come with some new lip seals and I should be able to press them in. Um, so yeah, just removing all the goo and gaskets and just making it all neat and tidy and uh, tidy it up, give it a little spray and then that adapter plate will go on and that'll sit on top of our new gearbox. So, yeah, it should be in action. So Lee's getting a haircut in the nude. <laughs> Come on. But um, what do you think? Cut. No, you're not halfway, well, you're done. You reckon? I reckon he looks really tough like this. You like it? I reckon you're Lovely. done. It's beautiful. So it's about day 25, 26 in Timor Leste. <laughs> we were planning on being here for about a week, but we're coming up to nearly being here for a month. Um, it's expensive, we've got a broken anchor winch, we can't go anywhere, it's overcast and crappy weather outside, and we're all going a little bit crazy. We have literally lost the plot today. This winch cannot come quick enough. Please, please let everything universe just flow from today on. It's just, we're gone crazy. Anything but wait for an anchor winch, so it's time to get ready for, for Roddy. Whew. Competition here. Not a real competitive family. One, two, three. Dad starts off strong. Look at those big arms. You would think he would bust out heaps. But Mum put him off. 18. You're shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I put me off. Oh, baby, 18. 18, here we go. Bella's up. One, two. Bella's up. One thing you might not know about Bella is she's pretty competitive and manages to beat the old guy. 22. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Here goes mum and don't be fooled by this smiling mummy. She is pretty strong and ends up being the one to beat. She's nearly hit the 30 club, but she's setting you a uh, benchmark there. I reached those oh. oh my god, my arms died. Taj, not competitive by nature, but when he comes to beating me, he gets pretty determined. 32! 33! He's a string bean, he's got no weight to lift up. Hey! I'm gonna nice beat it! Work, buddy. Bella had to have another go because she couldn't bear the thought of me and mummy beating her. Four to go to beat Taz, 31, 32, head up. Oh! oh so close, so close. Please don't beat mummy. Good job. She beat me. I think we've only got Just get your fingernail, open it up. <laughs> they blow up. <laughs> I love those arms. So, the old guy's up. All right. He's got the biggest arms out of all of us. Let's see what he can do. Some say they're blown up. Let's find out. I need some beats on though. Hey there. Yeah, here we go. You got this, baby. And off he went, pumping them out like a machine. Yes, yes, he redeemed himself for sure. Look at him go. 40. 40. Bella is a sit up machine and we think she stopped as we all started getting a bit bored. How's Taj go at sit-ups? We'll see. Oh, not as good as me. Sorry, bro. I give up. 30. 
That's a good effort, buddy. I lost count. Yeah. Thirteen. <laughs> what are we doing? I just did 120 push-ups. No, 120 sit-ups. What are you doing? I'm um, just getting the timer ready. Um, just a little bit of stamina here. See how we all roll with the um, plank situation. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's talk this through. Dad looks strong, still he started to shake. He got himself a whole minute and 30. Nice job, old man. <laughs> I don't know how Bella's core is going to go after 120 sit-ups, but... Um, I don't really care if I get 30 seconds. It's I did 120 sit-ups. He's yeah. not shaking. He's beating him. Taj has set a new record. You've got this. Taj, mate, where'd this come from? You have the stamina of, um, something with a lot of stamina. Go, Taj. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got no feeling in my arms. <laughs> Stretch my arms out. Cause... All right, so we've, we've worked it out. Lee's obviously got the strongest arms. They can't support the weight. Taj has got some stamina going on. And Bella is the queen of abdominal strength. I got 120. I don't know what I've got yet. I got four minutes. No, Mummy's pretty good at this. Mummy's pretty unfortunate. She's uh, just flexible. Okay, Bella. Bella is up and after her sit-up effort, we all wondered, does she have enough strength left in her? Keep going, Bella. Right. Oh. Right, she's down. 139 it was. 140. Don't worry guys, I just did 4 minutes and 10 seconds. <laughs> Mum's dead. This isn't surprising. Mum does a lot of yoga and is pretty good at holding the plank. But how long can she last? Halfway to Taj. I think you might... Oh, she is feeling it now. But what's this? Mum has a competitive side. Go, Mama. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, Mama. You got this. You got this. It's just twelve seconds, Mama. Twelve seconds. You can do this. Guys, it feels like the motor's running on Katow, but the boat is vibrating here. <laughs> she set a record. Okay, I'll, I'll do that now. It's going to take her a while to stop okay, shaking, Mama, but she's stop, done stop, it. Okay, Mama, stop. Calm down. <laughs> Minute 30. 30. I think Mama set the record at uh, 4 minutes 30, was it? Join us next time as we wait for our anchor winch parts to arrive in Dilly. Hi, so that was episode 93. You all know what to do. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. We hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. It all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all